MLB The Show is your home for postseason baseball. It's game four now of the American League Championship Series between the Minnesota Twins and the Tampa Bay Rays. Hi again, everyone. Matt Vaskersian. Welcome to our special postseason coverage of baseball on the show. With me is Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak. And Dan, lots of storylines here as we approach the start of game four. Well, I think this series has played out exactly how we expected it to. At two games to one, it's been tightly contested back and forth. We've got two teams worthy of being here, and I think this will go at least six games before it's all said and done. Set for what should be a good one. Lineups and first pitch are next. Blake Snell is the man on the mound for the fourth game of the series. Dan Plezak, what do you got? I think I'm going to have to start calling this guy Blake Nasty. This guy is one of the top pitchers in all of baseball. My opinion, the best stuff from the left side in the game right now. Upper to mid-90s fastball, 95 to 98. Good curveball, good changeup, good slider. He throws any pitch at any time for strikes. He's taken that next step. We're talking about a legitimate Cy Young contender year after year. Blake Snell, as good as anybody in the game right now. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one, two. And a fastball swung on and missed, and the leadoff man is gone to open up the ball game. Good job of making him chase a pitch for the strikeout there. Yeah, Matt, that's the advantage of getting ahead in the count. You can really force hitters to expand their zone and protect. And when they're in that mode, getting them to go after a pitch they can't do much with becomes a lot easier. Into the box now, Josh Donaldson. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Kiermaier is there, two gone. Batting third, the designated hitter, Nelson. Two out, nobody on. Tries to change up on him there, but it's a ball, two and one. Sitting in a good spot right here. Two ball, one strike count is yet to see a fastball. Have to be sitting on one right here. Now the two one pitch. Hit hard, but right into the shift. And that's through for a hit. Hey, there's a nice knock by the three-hole hitter. I know there's two outs, but they always say with your man coming up, the number four-hole monster, as soon as he steps in the batter's box, there's a runner in scoring position. the count at two and two so let's take a peek at the umpire and crew in this one behind the plate is Matthew Ross well D row you better be ready to swing with Matt Ross behind the dish big zone yeah you know coming into this one you better pull the trigger if something's close Matt Ross is going to punch your dick hit down the line at first but this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at two and two come set now the pitch this is on the ground over to first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. One left for Minnesota. And now the Rays will get their first opportunity in a scoreless ball game. Jake Odorizzi will be on the mound for game four. 
What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, Matt, this guy has a great mix of fastballs. He has a four-seamer that's straight that he'll ride up in the zone, and then he has the cutter, which breaks away. Two pitches that look the same, that have different angles and different breaks, and if he has a good cutter this afternoon, that makes his four-seam fastball up in the zone that much better. Two pitch. Hit weakly on the ground to short. He's right there. And the off balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. Batting second. The second baseman. Number eight. Now in the box, Brendan Lau. One out, nobody on. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time. Out number two. And with two away now, let's give you a look at what's happening in the National League Championship Series as they've got a good one brewing over there as well. He steps into his windup. Here's the 1 1. Inside and a hair low. It's two balls and two strikes. A shot to first base and caught there to end the inning. We played an inning, still nothing, nothing. Standing in, Ari Adrianza. Previous history with Blake Snell. A handful of plate appearances, and he's gone four for six. He also has one home run. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Margo's on the move. He's there and records the first down. Batting fifth, the first baseman, number 22, Miguel Sano. Now to the plate, Miguel Sano. He'll get to take his first cuts here. The 3 2 pitch. Is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Hey, I'm not sure what he was sitting on right there. Might have been sitting on an off-speed pitch, but instead he gets the fastball way late. Had no chance to put that ball in play. To the plate now, Byron Buxton. Hit on the ground to third. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Twins are set down one, two, three. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Even at a ball and a strike. Here's the pitch. Oh, that counts. And he fouls this one off. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Nasty breaking ball swung on in the dirt. And he makes the throw to first. Meadows is retired, and there's one away. 
at the plate now for the Rays is the DH, Yoshi Tsutsugo. As he'll get his first opportunity in this one. He loses him on ball four. Man, that's just painful for a pitcher right there. A 3-2 offering that was right on the corner, but he couldn't get him to chase, and he doesn't get the call. You can't beat yourself up about that one too much. Ready with the one and one. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. In there, and it's even now. Two and two. Great pitch right there. That is a huge breaking ball. Not shocked he took it. Got to calibrate that one for a second. Ah, had him fooled as he swings through the curveball. Two down. Now the two one pitch. No reason to sit on anything other than the hard stuff in a location you like and drive it right now. So Tugo is off of first with two away. A full count to the Rays center fielder. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. Good battle. Count remains full. Another full count pitch home. Grounded to first. Scooped up. And he'll step on the bag himself. And the inning is over. Some of our nation's young minds and future leaders here in attendance. Yikes. Game four rolls along. We're back after this. Top of the third set to get underway. And that'll bring up the outfielder, Max Kepler. The 2-2. Two -two. Not surprisingly here, this is on the ground to the right side. Oh, and he can't come up with it. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. Well, as we take another look at it, you can see that this thing kind of handcuffed him and he couldn't make the play comes off the heel of the glove and the leadoff man is aboard up next for Minnesota Mitch Garver a runner at first with no outs here one and two to the twins catcher Hey, I don't mind that take right there. That was a nasty breaking ball. Started outside the zone, popped back inside the zone. Good spin rate on it. Move on to the next pitch. One and two, here it comes. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. Still two and two. Chopper to second. This will be a tough turn. There's one. On to first. Not in time as the umpire was right there to make the call. Back to the top of the order now. And that will bring in Jorge Polanco to hit next. Third inning. No score to this point. He 
There's a fastball now that's hit softly down the line to third. And he tries for the backhand reach at third, but it gets by the glove down the line. A lot of traffic hitting the base pass first and second with one out. I know you're looking for a double play ball, Dan. No question about it. I think one of the things you like to do on a pitcher is try to jump on him early before he gets settled in. So far, so good. First and second looks like a big inning could be brewing. In now, Josh Donaldson fouled off. Runners are at first and second with one away. And this one's in the dirt. And a nice job to keep the runners at bay as the count moves to two and two. As a look, now the pitch. Fouled away. Here's one that misses inside, and the counts run full now. Three and two. Not a time to fool around right now on a 3-2 count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing at. Count is full. Here's the pitch. with it ball four so that'll load the bases and now he's really going to need to get a ground ball I think he was trying to be a little yeah, too that. fine there and a walk is the result good. well the good news is he has a force at every base the bad news a single probably drives in a couple of runs here's Nelson Cruz now a base hit in his first trip the one one home Waves and misses for strike number two. I never found myself on the mound in the big leagues, but it must be nice to be able to go to that good hard fastball when you're in a jam. Bases are loaded here, one man out. Hit back toward the mound. And that's through into center field. Base hit. One run is scored. And the second run will score as that makes it a 2 nothing ball game. Hey, this one's a long way from being over, D-Roll, but that big base hit right there gives him a two-run lead. Yeah, Dan, without question right there. Huge at bat. Gives his team the lead. Hopefully the pitcher's able to settle down now. He's got some runs on his back, and he's able to go out and execute. So now to the plate, Eddie Rosario. And he's a little too high with that one. Two balls and a strike. Rounded up the first baseline. But this will be a foul ball as that evens things at two and two. Way inside with that one. A pretty easy take there. For the guy on the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Now the three and two pitch. And he misses with that one. Ball four, and that's going to load the bases now with still only one away. What's the saying? Uh, when you find yourself in a hole, the first thing you should do is stop digging. Well, the guy on the bump obviously hasn't heard that one. Striding in once again, Eri Adrianza. He flew out in his last at bat. Still only one out in the inning. And a strike three called. My gracious, what a pitch with the bases loaded, and there are two away now. I'm really impressed by that strikeout, and I'll tell you why. He should have gotten a call on the pitch before, and it looked like he got squeezed a little bit. In a bases loaded situation, that can drive a guy nuts, drive you crazy. What I loved is he didn't let him take it out of his game, and he came back with another good pitch and got the punch out. A really nice job of taking it one pitch at a time. A strike away now from getting out of this mess. Sometimes pitching is all about minimizing, right? So keeping it to two runs across in the inning would be huge. 
And it's fouled away. The set. And the 2 2. Got him. So the damage winds up not being as bad as it could have been as they'll strand the bases loaded. The side is retired. So they do strike for two, but it could have been much worse as they strand the bases loaded. We'll move on to the bottom of inning number three. The Twins are in front, two to nothing. And that'll bring up Manuel Margot as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. Hey, we're still in the early stages of this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Throw on to first in time, one away. Here now is Mike Zanino. A one and two count to the Rays catcher. Curveball just about rung him up, but it's to two and two. Ball three. Three and two now. You could pretty much book it that a fastball's coming. A challenge fastball right here. He cannot allow the nine hole hitter to get on base with the top of the order looming. Now here's a fly ball. Well hit. Kepler's going back. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Digging in for his second at bat, Yandy Diaz. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Ready to deal. Here's the 1 1. Heading out towards shallow right. Kepler's there for it. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Rays go in order 1 2 3. They trail things here 2 to nothing. Start of the fourth upcoming, but first, Heidi Watney is standing by with a report. Thanks, Matt. In between innings, I was able to catch up with the manager of the Twins to discuss his thoughts on Minnesota's lineup so far. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. It's still pretty early in the game, but they've seen a lot of pitches already, and he thinks the two runs they've pushed across so far is just the beginning, given the quality of the at-bats they're putting together. All right, Heidi, thank you. So that'll bring in Byron Buxton as we begin the top of the fourth. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. One ball. Changeup gets him out in front for strike two. Hit to third. Throw to first in time, one gone here in the fourth. So one away here with the bases empty. And that'll bring up the outfielder, Max Kepler. The 1-1 one, one home. Bases are empty, one man out. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Margo on his horse. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. Stepping in, Mitch Garver. Reached by way of a fielder's choice his first time around. The one two. Pretty good breaking ball to lay off of right there. If I'm pitching, I might think this guy might be sitting on something off speed. The 2 2. And that misses there, so he runs the count full now. Well, he really needs to make this guy swing the bat right here. He's not the type of hitter you want to dance around with. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Fielded cleanly. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. Down go the Twins in order, but they hold a 2 0 lead.
bottom of the inning now. And set to go is the second baseman, Brandon Lau. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. Swing, and there it goes. He got all of this one. And gone. An absolute bomb. Solo shot to right center. His first homer so far in the series. And the Rays have cut this to a 2-1 ball game now. Only the first hit of the night, but it was a big one. He absolutely punished that mistake. And you have to wonder if that will open the floodgates a little. Into the box, Joey Wendell. And this one's up around the eyes, two and one. And he missed again, high and away this time. Three and one. Hit hard towards center. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. Yeah, that's a pitch right there to split finger that needs to be buried, and it was not executed. Left it thigh high, and as an offensive player, that's what you're waiting on. Stepping in now, Austin Meadows. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. The three, two, one more time. And he will take ball four. First and second now with nobody out. Now back, the designated hitter. Yoki. So stepping in, Yoshi Tsutsugo, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. A 1 1. Ball at the time. Has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. Now the 2 1 is looked at off the plate for a ball. This is a spot you'd like to be in as a good hitter. Runners in scoring position and count leverage in your favor. And he lays off there, ball four. So back to back walks have him in business here with nobody out. And things are not looking good here in the fourth inning. That's the second walk of the frame. Good time for the catcher to go out to the mound and have a chat with this guy to give him a little breather. Settling in now, Willie Adamas, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. The 3 2 pitch. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. Mm, would have been a grand slam if he'd straightened it out. Instead, it's a foul ball. The next 3 2. Oh, and it misses ball four, and that will force home a run. Yeah, the pitching coach would hate to go to the bullpen this early in the game, but sometimes you have no choice. On the flip side, he might just get in his face a little bit out there, try to challenge him, wake him up from his funk. Either way, we'll see how it works. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Kevin Kiermeyer. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Yeah, I understand that, Matty, but this guy's got burner wheels down the first baseline. I don't think he even concerns himself with that. He has to put it on the ground. That's part of what makes him successful. So he punches him out looking at the fastball. Kevin Kiermeyer is dealt with for the first out in the bottom of the inning. Into the box now, Manuel Margot. Two and one. 
it often becomes harder to hit the zone when the pressure starts to heat up. Two runs on two hits. One error in the ballgame for Tampa Bay. Slapped hard the opposite way. Catch is made here in right, and here comes the runner from third. Oh, but it's offline, so the run will score. Boy, this one looked like he was headed for extra bases off the bat. Instead, a line drive bullet caught in the alley, but he does end up getting a sacrifice fly. So here's Mike Zanino. Three across so far in the inning, and another two out there on base. Yeah, Matt, and this inning's really starting to get away from him on the defensive side of the ball. Stranding the rest of those guys out here feels absolutely essential for them at this point. One and one. Here it is. Skied into straightaway right. Kepler's there for it. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. So they get three runs on two base hits, with one of them being the big home run. We played four full. The Rays lead it three to two. Brendan McKay, a six foot two inch left hander, jogs in to take over on the hill. Brendan McKay. All ready to go in the top of the fifth. And coming forward now is the shortstop, Jorge Polanco. The 1 2. All two. Hit hard towards center. And a base hit, so the leadoff man is on to begin the inning. Hey, they weren't going to keep this guy down for long. That's the ebbs and flows of the baseball season. Bottom line is, this guy has bat-to-ball skills. You knew he was going to get hot eventually. At the plate, Josh Donaldson. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. The one two misses ball two. And a big cut at the breaking ball, but he comes up empty, and that's the first out. Pretty textbook breaking ball for the punch out right there. Got it to bend a lot, and by the time it got there, it had fallen completely out of the zone. Not much you can do with that pitch. At the plate now, Nelson Cruz. And this is fouled into the seats over from first. Fifth inning of play here in a 3-2 ball game. Oh, and he can't catch up to the fastball as he swings and misses for the second out. That's back-to-back -back strikeouts now as they've been unable to advance that leadoff single into scoring position. He had clearly no problems working out of the stretch right now, Matt. He's taking control this inning after giving up that hit. Now we'll see if he can finish it off strong as well. To the plate now, Eddie Rosario. A little too tall that time. Three and one now. There goes Polanco. But he won't have to worry about a throw. Ball four. First and second now with two away. Oh, man, I think this walk is going to grind at him for a bit. He just missed, and now the inning continues with a man in scoring position. Digging in once again, Eire Adrianza. And we'll see what he can do here with a pair of runners on base and two gone here in the fifth. And he's a little too high with that one. Two balls and a strike. Hey, lots of guys get too aggressive in a spot like this, but he's done a nice job of gaining some count leverage. Look for him to put the ball and play hard. Two and two. Hey, he'd like to see a little bit more discipline than that. You get a count your favorite. He's swinging a pitch that bad? Not good. Now a 
Flair out toward right center. Kiermaier coming on, but he can't make the play as it finds the outfield grass. The tying run is in to score from second. It's a 3-3 game. Dan, you were one pitch away from getting out of this. The two outs, two strikes on the batter, and he's able to throw out a ribby knot. Dero, it's hard to get more frustrated than that as a pitcher. You're one pitch away from getting out of a lot of traffic on the bases, getting into the inning, and next thing you know, you give up a two-out, two-strike base hit. Nothing more frustrating for a pitcher than to have that happen. Into the box, Miguel Sano. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. Standing in now, Byron Buxton. Three balls and two strikes to the twin center fielder. Definitely a big pitch coming up right here. He's going to be pumped if he can work his way out of this inning with the game still time. This is foul tipped at the plate directly off the arm of the home plate umpire. And folks, there's no padding up there. That's going to hurt. And that misses. Ball four. A run will come in to score. To the play. The right field. Max, Kepler. Max Kepler, the next to grab a bat. No hits to this point. To two and two now. Two and two. Full count to Max Kepler. Three balls and two strikes. He's already walked two in this inning already. This guy just can't seem to find the strike zone. Oh, and it misses ball four, and that will force home a run. And it's times like these that a pitcher feels awfully lonely. I can see why he didn't want to be too aggressive. Last thing he wants to do is give up a grand slam to a dangerous hitter, but walking in a run is painful, too. And here he is again, still with the bases loaded. Josh Fleming answers the call to pitch here in a big spot. He inherits a bases loaded jam, but needs just one out to get out of it. Mitch Garver will be the first one to greet him, and he'll bat in a big spot here. Bases loaded and two out in the inning. Here's the 2 1. This one's down to third. Throw is in time, and they're able to avoid the huge inning here as the side is retired. So they do get three that inning. That's the good news. The bad news is they leave three men on base. Home half of the fifth coming up. It's the Twins five and the Rays three. And that will bring in Yandy Diaz. He's bounced out and flown out in his first two plate appearances. One and two, here it comes. Taken off the outside as the breaking ball couldn't catch the corner. Now some action out in the Minnesota pen as it looks like both a lefty and a right-hander are up to throw. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Weak grounder down the line at third. But a foul ball as it holds it two and two. Now here's the pit. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Rosario is there. One down. Now better. Digging in, Brandon Lau. It was a solo shot for him in his last at bat. We all know this guy's a real good fastball hitter. We saw how far he could hit one. He got a fastball that he liked, and he turned that thing around, and it got out of here in a hurry. And he struck him out. Second time tonight now that he's been set down on strikes. I'll tell you, he's showing no signs of tiring right now. Still looks razor sharp from what I can tell, so I think he might last a while longer if he can keep this up.
In now, Joey Wendell. Slow grounder to first. Reined in. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Down in order go the Rays. They're still down 5-3. Top half of the sixth about to get started, and that will bring in Jorge Polanco to hit next. Hit in the air to left. Margot comes in a few steps as he hauls it in for the first out. Here's the third baseman, Josh Donaldson. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Two two is laid off and the count runs full. Three two counts are usually a time to challenge the hitter, but I think he'll be careful here. Shoot for the corner, and if you miss and you walk him, so what? That's better than him putting one in the seats. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. Five runs, six hits, and no errors in the ball game for Minnesota. And he looks at one that misses, and that's an excellent job of making his man throw a lot of pitches as he toughs out a walk. Well, the reason power hitters generally draw more walks than other guys is exactly what we saw right there. Pitchers work around them and nibble the corners a lot more so they don't get burned. He made some good pitches, but he just couldn't get him to chase enough out of the zone. And that'll bring up the big stick of Nelson Cruz. He was sat down on strikes in his last at-bat. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. Now the 2-1 pitch is looked at for ball three. I love the approach out on the mound. Everything's down in the zone as it should be, but now you find yourself in a 3-1 count. Do you elevate a little bit more and get back in this zone, or do you just pitch around them? Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Runners on first with one down. Margo is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. The left fielder, number 20, Eddie Rosario. So now it'll be the four hole hitter, Eddie Rosario. Full count here. Here comes the pitch. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Twins wind up stranding one, and it remains five to three. Number 72 takes the mound as he's been called upon to pitch. Number 72. Bottom of the sixth inning now, and next to bat will be the outfielder, Austin Meadows. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. Another foul ball. And a check swing here, but the bat clearly breaks the plane as he's set down for the first out. Always tough for one of these base umpires to make a call on a guy's check swing. It's not a great angle, and everything happens so quickly, so they really have to be paying attention out there. Looking at the replay, I think he got it right, so that's a tip of the cap for the blue. The 1 1. You like the modern style of baseball? Here it is. 
Both starters kept their teams in the game. It's close right now. Now we hand it over to the nasty bullpens. Let's see what matchups are going to take place. Now the 2-1 is taken. Ball three. Hey, after those two breaking balls missed, you have to be sitting on a fastball right here. One out, nobody on. And the count will be full. Now the payoff pitch home is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. No problems for him on the mound since he's come out of the pen to start this inning. That's back-to-back -back K's, and he's making it look pretty easy. This has the makings of a good outing so far. At the plate, Willie Adamas. And that one's taken outside for a ball. He walked him. So no one, two, three inning here. They've got themselves a two out base runner. You know, it takes a lot of discipline to watch a pitch like that go by. But on a three one count, he had the luxury of being a little bit more selective up there. Good take and a walk is the result. So next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Kevin Kiermeyer. Two out with the man at first. And it's a ball and two strikes to Kiermaier now. I'll tell you, if I'm pitching right now, I'm not throwing anything near the strike zone until these guys prove they can lay off it. They're just being way too aggressive. Uh, got him on the good slider there. Swung on and missed as he's down on strikes for the second time tonight. Ray's strand just the one. Still a two-run deficit. It's five to three. Seventh inning ready to roll. And A. Ray Adrianza will be the next to bat. Here now the 2-2. And he fouls this one off. And here's a slider. Strike three called. And that'll be the first out of the inning. The next twin up, Miguel Sano. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Now the one and one pitch is laid off for ball two. Bases are empty, one man out. Oh, and not an easy pitch to lay off of, but he did somehow, and he's got it to three and one. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. Swing, strike two. When you get yourself to a 3-1 count and you get a fastball, those are the ones you really want to punish. Couldn't get the bat on it, so we'll see if that comes back to haunt him. Now the 3-2 and two pitch. Fouled off. Back up the middle. He's got it. In time to first, and there are two away. Here's Byron Buxton now. Oh, for two for him to this point. In front of the change up there is this is chopped foul at home plate. The one two. Two balls, two strikes. back with a fastball strike three called and the inning is over twins are set down one two three as they hang on to their five three lead Tyler 
Clipper gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Stepping into the box, Manuel Margot. He hit a sack fly earlier. The 1-1. One, one. Hammered the other way to deep right field. A ball that's carrying. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Now batting. Now Good batting, hit. Mike Zanino. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. The 2 1. Now a swing and a fly ball. And it's a foul ball. Pitch on its way now to Zanino. Wow, talk about a waste pitch on two and two. That one wasn't even close. I don't know anyone that would have swung at that pitch. High in the air out to center field. Center fielder on the run, and he tracks it down. A nice running play to record the second out. So the lineup flips over and digging in, Yandy Diaz. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. The one-two. Misses for the second ball. Bases are empty here with two men out. Liner towards second. And that's in there, so perhaps some life here with two men out. You know, D-Roll, there's been some great pitching in this one yeah. so far. After that knock, that's only the third hit of the game, and we're getting late into this one. Yeah, they always say you got to tip your hat to the opposition sometimes. Well, I think this offense is tired of tipping its hat. they got to start to swing the bats a little bit better. That's their third knock of the game. I know it's late, but maybe they can get something going. Into the box now, Brandon Lau. The 1-2. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. Ready with the payoff pitch. And a good at-bat that time as he lays off for ball four. And as a result, that'll move a runner up into scoring position now with two away. Well, he made quick work of the first two guys this half inning, getting two quick outs, but then he gives up a base hit and now the walk. We'll see if he has it in him to draw the line in the sand and get out of this. Tyler Duffy trots in from the bullpen here as he inherits a tough spot with two on and two away. Joey Wendell digs in now. And Dan, this could be a real make-or-break situation at this point in the game. Yeah, Matt, at least scoring one run in this inning is so important to them to possibly get back into this thing. Baseball doesn't have a clock, but you only have 27 outs to work with. They're running out of those pretty quick. 1-1. Uh, This is pulled into right. And the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Rays strand a pair. They're still down 5-3. Leading off the inning, Max Kepler as they'll look for some added insurance before the bottom half of the inning. Side, nearly to the backstop, two and one. Over at the knees, and that's the second strike. 
two balls two strikes a crucial count for both pitcher and hitter so Dan what was your approach on the mound in that count do you still pitch for the strikeout here action pitch right here 2 2 the last thing you want to do is to fall behind the count 3 2 Kiermaier patrolling center makes the play one out Now at the plate, Mitch Garver, who could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. Ready to deal, here's the 1-1. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And he just couldn't keep that ball fair as it winds up a long foul ball. Fouled away. Got to believe the pitcher and catcher understand the fact that he's covering away and he's covering way away. Don't be shocked if he comes in with something. And this is swung on and missed to our quickly retired to start inning number eight. That swing tells me he was really trying to get a pitch out front and rip it down the line, but that wasn't a great pitch to do it on. It's really not the best two strike approach either. So now to the plate, Jorge Polanco. And this is lifted out towards straightaway center field. On the move is Kiermaier. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. Down go the Twins in order, and it remains 5-3. Next to bat will be the Tampa Bay cleanup hitter, Austin Meadows. He'll look to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there, north of seven, eight pitch ABs, sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. And it's fouled away. The 2 2 one more time. The bouncer to the left side. The throw on the first will take care of him. So he's thrown out by the only man standing on the left side of the now infield. Back. One away. The designated hitter. Next will be the designated hitter, Yoshi Tsutsugo. A couple of walks for him thus far. The 3 1. And he takes ball four again. And they clearly just don't want any part of him in this one. Now back. Not your job. So a runner at first now with one away, and up next will be Willie Adamas. Runner at first here, one man out. And this will be swung on and bounced on the ground to second. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Rays held in check here. Still a two-run deficit. It's five to three. Chaz Rowe enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. At the plate, Josh Donaldson. He's 0 for 2 with a couple of walks in this one. Fouls this one off. Another full count pitch home. Not surprised he's laid on a heater right there. Just saw an off speed pitch. Wanted to stay back a little bit too long. The next 3 2. And this pitch misses here. It's ball four. And they've got a leadoff base runner aboard to start the ninth. Now batting. The designated hitter. Nelson Cruz. Now it will be the Minnesota DH. Nelson Cruz. Two hits in four attempts to this point. The 
2 2. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. Mm, definitely had the distance, but it winds up a foul ball. Rowe was known as a short relief specialist, a guy who came in, got one or two big outs, but with the new pace of play rules, they're forcing a change for this right-hander. Kiermaier is right there, one down. The left fielder, number 20, Eddie Rosario. At the plate, Eddie Rosario, 0 for 2 on his line thus far. Runners on first with one down. And that misses two and one. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Love the fact the pitcher challenged him in that spot right there. Didn't love the location. But I got to be honest with you. I think he's got him on his heels right now. Don't be shocked if he attacks his own again. The stand alive putting together a really good at bat here. Good job going down and hanging with it that time. Here's one that misses inside, and the counts run full now. Three and two. Not a bad time right here to put that runner in motion. Three, two count. You send the runner, and if it's a bad pitch, it's ball four. And he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight-pitch at-bat. Anytime a pitcher locates a fastball on the inside corner, it's going to be a tough pitch to hit. That one was spot on, and he had no answer for it. To the plate now, Aire Adrianza hit hard down the left field line. And that is off the wall, but in foul territory. Foul ball. That looked like the fastball got away from him there. It's ball two. Lofted in the air out toward right center. And a great diving effort there, but it'll just tip off his glove, and it's a base hit. That's what happens when a slider doesn't do what you want it to do. That was just one of those cement mixers, kind of just spinning but doing nothing. Nice job of punishing that pitch and picking up two bags on one swing. Diego Castillo takes over now with two gone here in the top of inning number nine. Stepping in now, Miguel Sano. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And nearly a three-run shot. Instead, it's a foul ball. Here's the two and two. And he struck him out. So a good pitch there. And now they're going to need to string some hits together in this last at-bat if they want to get back in this thing. Twin strand a pair as they hang on to their 5-3 lead. Taylor Rogers is the man called on to close this one and earn a save in the ninth. Ball set for the bottom of the ninth. And coming forward, the veteran outfielder, Kevin Kiermeyer. Swing hard liner to left center. Leap, but he can't bring it down. Base hit. Well, you're usually in this situation looking for a bloop and a blast. He didn't want to bloop it, and he hit a missile, bringing the tying run to the plate. Let's see if they can capitalize. 
digging in. Manuel Margo, who represents the potential tying run if he can launch one or find a way around the bases. Yeah, Matt, I kind of doubt he's thinking about going yard, even though that would be the best result they could hope for. He's not a long ball threat, and he knows it, so he could just be looking for some way to keep that line moving. Nobody out, runner on first. One one pitch is a sinker taken for a strike one and two. Now a throw over, just keeping him close. Working for the punch out and the offering. A bouncer up the middle. And that'll get by into center field for a base hit. Oh, but the feet of the shortstop is off the mark. He had him on the ropes right there. Count leverage, two strikes against the batter. He's going to have to put that in the memory bank. That guy made a nice two-strike approach right there. Made a nice two-strike adjustment. So it's first and second now. Nobody out. And that'll bring up the catcher, Mike Zanino. First and second here with nobody out. Good action on the sinker, one and two. Pitch on its way now to Zanino to the right side and through a base hit. Kiermaier isn't stopping. Here he comes to the plate and he's safe at the plate as it's now a one run ball game. Hey, d -Row, they're making this guy pay. That's three straight singles and a run driven in. Yeah, nothing hit extremely hard. Killing him softly, station to station with those knocks. So Tampa's batting order turns over and set to go. Yandy Diaz, a winning run at first with nobody out. Tying and winning runs are on here with nobody out. Two and one to the Rays' leadoff batter. It's not easy to continue pounding the strike zone when you've given up three consecutive hits, but he has to trust that getting the ball down to the zone will get him an out. Now the 2-1. Hit on the ground down the first baseline, but this will wind up a foul ball. Two and two. Ready now. Two-strike pitch on its way. This is hit to third. Will it be two? A tag for one. On to first, and they get them both. Now that Standing Number in, eight. Brandon Lau. They'll go to work on getting that tying run home from second. Tampa down to their final strike in this one. Struck him out, so he'll strand the possible tying run at second, and a great job of working out of trouble as this ball game is over. Yeah, he does surrender one run, so it wasn't a flawless performance. But in this game, you don't have to be perfect. You just have to be good enough to win, and he was. Tight ball game all throughout. 
winds up a slim one run victory in the end as we get you one final look at our line score. And there's no better time of year to come up big for your team than in the postseason. And that's exactly what this man did. He's our top player of the game. Yeah, no time like the postseason to come through and lift your team to victory. He was certainly a big factor here, and it was pretty cool to see. This evening's game comes to an end 5-4 the final tally the Minnesota Twins take a three games to one series lead and now look to clinch Jake Odorizzi is credited with the win so that's a wrap here tonight for Mark DeRosa Dan Pleszak and Heidi Watney this is Matt Vaskersian you've been watching MLB the show for more find us on Twitter at MLB the show. The final line score for our ball game tonight for the victorious Twins. Five runs, seven hits, no errors. They left ten men on base. For the Rays, four runs on six hits, one error. They left eight runners on base.